Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of March 30th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Also, I go live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Feel free to join me and you will catch me live several times this week as I go through the Zodiac doing all of your readings live for the month of April. Uh, tonight we'll be using the Rider Waite deck and I will be following this up <laughs> with my own deck of elementals and the pre-order link will be located below this video. So right now Pisces we're looking at your week of March 30th 2020. Out. Out. Oh gracious. Okay so what we're looking at is you take an authority, a small wish granted. You are separating from someone or something that no longer serves a purpose. Uh, things are real high energy for you guys. No quick decisions. No quick decisions this week. I've seen this in more than one sign. Uh, high energy, new doors opening, good business deals. Uh, and making decisions that you've been putting off. So looking really good. So let's take a look. This is for Pisces. We are looking at your week of March 30th, 2020. Pisces. What we have is the Two of Cups. Four of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, as well as that Five of Cups. So let me break this down for you guys, and I'm going to pull you three more. Starting with the Two of Cups, okay? Now, of course, this is a happy union. This is also going to be significant for my singles out there, as well as my couples. Good communications, good unions, just good times, okay? Okay. Four of Swords indicating you guys need to stop and get the rest that you need. And really heed your body on that so you don't run yourself down. Okay, it's just telling you get the rest that you need when you need the rest. Here is that good business deal I was telling you about. Preparing there with that Page of Pentacles. Moving forward, you guys, are the Two of Wands. Remember I said you have decisions to make? This is kind of like you've accomplished a lot of your goals and you want to set new goals or where to go from here. King of Pentacles is showing financial stability, okay? This could also resonate with some of you as a Gemini. Five of Cups telling you do not overthink things, get out of your own head, okay? Five of Cups, look at this card. See the cups overturned in front of you, but the offers are behind you. So don't overthink things. Moving forward, Pisces, you've got that Seven of Swords as a warning with the moon. Not a good combination. And we have the Page of Cups, which is Pisces appearing in Pisces. Okay, guys, this isn't pretty. Seven of Swords. This is someone lying to you. No way to sugarcoat that. This is absolutely someone lying to you. Beside that, with the moon, we have deception. Okay? Page of Cups. This is someone coming in with an unexpected offer of assistance, which is either going to be one, unexpected, or two, the offer's not going to meet your expectation. Now, off of this, with the lies and the deception, I don't see a confrontation, but you do need to be made aware of it. Now, two signs that jumped out here, three signs actually, that may resonate with Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, or another Pisces may resonate with you guys this week. So what you've got going on as far as your major arcanas, you only had one, and that's the moon indicating deception. So just be warned of your surroundings and what's going on. So now we're going to the elemental deck to see if we can go a bit further. For Pisces, this is for your week of March 30th, 2020. All right, Pisces, help is on the way. We see that here with that unexpected offer of assistance. It says you're taking your power back. 
and I would say that's probably over the person that is lying to you. Also here is a Capricorn. That Capricorn is here with that good business deal as well. There's a Capricorn energy. Delays are in your favor. Sometimes it's hard to remember that. And look at here, guys. We have Pisces. There it is. Pisces and Pisces are getting the exact same signs. Ah, oh, different sign. You have an Aquarius as well. Then it says rest before further development. We saw that here with the four swords. And we have a Libra. Did you, did you had a Libra? No, you had a Gemini, not a Libra. So several different signs coming into play as well as a Taurus. Lots of signs, there's lots of people, and it's telling you to proceed with caution. And I really think this is going back to that deception. Pisces, I'm going to give you guys one more. It says move forward and stop procrastinating. There you go. Time to stop putting things off. Time to move forward. Pisces, thank you for joining me. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Look for me to go live several times this week, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.